welcome everyone so today i'm going to show you how to divide okay how to divide these numbers okay trust me when it comes to division half of my students you know they just let it go they think that this is too tough for them to do it okay so here in this case what you should be doing is that you will try to minimize your problem as much as possible so now look over here i've taken a very small and the easiest example of the lot Okay, so if you have 3 upon 200, here what you can do is we'll just write 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 100. This has become so much easier now. Now you know 3 upon 2 is nothing but just 1.5. Right, so divide that answer by 100. So answer will now become what? The answer will now become 0 0.015. Now see, this looks quite tricky, right? The answer looks very difficult with so much of decimal and so many places after the decimal but if you just split your denominator things became so much easier right similarly now for 591 okay so here in this case what we'll do no apart from that first let me do this one okay i'll write it over here properly so here what you have this looks also very tricky 847 upon 7700 now understand, I can write this 847 as it is. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, I can write this as nothing but 77. Or better, I can even write this 77 as nothing but what? 7 into 11 into 100. Okay, now if you look closely, 847 is actually getting completely divided by 7. It is getting you what? 84 is 1, 12 is a, and then 1. And 11 square is 121. So I'm just left with what? 11 upon 100 final answer for this one is just 0 0.11 this is became so much easier see this kind of tricks are very very important when it comes for calculations or when you're attempting any of the entrances or basic math okay please understand these are those kind of questions which can be done so much easily but because this looks very very difficult that's why people you know just leave it halfway okay so this is my humble request to all of you all that whenever you come across something which looks very tricky or you find that oh this is so tough and all that at least try to simplify this see just after simplifying things became so much easier for this complicated looking division right now i want you all to you know take a pause and try and do this and see what's your answer okay i'll do this on another page so we have 591 upon 600 so this can be written as what 591 as it is we write 6 into 100 okay so again 6 so this when you add 5 plus 9 plus 1 that gets you what that gets you 16 oh sorry 15 so that is again divided by uh 3 okay so now what you will do is we'll divide both sides by 3 so 3 twos are and here you will get 1 2 left over so 9 then 2 left over 7 197 now please understand here you do not make the mistake of you know um doing this as 197 upon 100 into 2 or upon 200 no just divide 197 by 2 that is easier trust me that is much easier so that gets you what 9s are then one is left so 8s are 0. 0.5 and then it is still divided by 100 here also see please understand whenever you're simplifying things make sure that you carry forward whatever you have simplified don't forget to carry forward your hundreds in the next step okay otherwise your answer for this one would be what 98.5 that doesn't seem logical see if 60 600 the denominator is smaller than the numerator and your answer is coming out to be so much bigger see whenever the denominator is smaller than numerator your answer has to be in decimals and it should normally start with zero point something okay so here when you have something like this please go back and check in case you have forgotten anything okay so your 98.5 gets you what sorry upon 100 gets you what 0 0.985 so you saw how easily we could do this division okay but now i'm sure you're almost wondering that i've done all these divide by 100 only what happens when the numbers are such okay so here in this case what we'll do is see 27 will take the 10 away from 4, 40 or so from 4 okay so it will become what 4 into 10 so now 27 divided by 4 is easier okay why like that we'll get what 6 are 
and then you're left with three so then you put a decimal point so it becomes 30 then you get seven and then 675 upon 10 final answer is 0 0.675 okay so see understood these are the kind of divisions which you have to have to do it you do not have to let it go okay <coughs> sorry again so this becomes what fives are because both of them are divisible by three so this becomes <coughs> 14s <clears throat> now purposely i've taken this see if there is a number and you have to divide 14 and 5 you can do it but if you want to avoid it what you can do is just multiply both sides by 2 so this becomes 28 and this becomes upon 10 so the final answer is just 2.8 see directly after this division also you should have got a 2.8 but sometimes you know things become trickier so whenever you have a number which is uh, divided by 5 then in that case what you will do is you will multiply by the number by 2 and then put a decimal point just one digit from your right okay or basically whatever answer you get after doubling you should just divide that by 10 okay i hope this is very very clear to everyone okay now let's look at one more uh, question um i have written this okay so now again this 197 okay i'll put this for diy i don't want you all to do this i'll take another one okay so see tell me what is the answer for 197 divide by oh i have already done this sorry my bad i'll give you one more question so let's do that okay so here in this case this looks quite tricky right 91 into 28 so now what you should do is see both of them are not even even numbers that you can cancel by two and everything no that doesn't happen so here in this case what i do is see we will try to write it in the form of closest factors means see this could have been written as what 2 into 14 and this can also be written as 4 into 7 so i'll write this in the form of 4 into 7 and try if this 91 number also can be written in terms of closest factors so 91 again looks very very tricky so you will see that it actually written it can be written as 7 into 13 so now things are easier right so what happens is this you can cancel so you're just left with what 13 upon 4 now 13 upon 4 division is very very easy it gets you what 3.2 and then you have 3.25 okay so you saw how easily you could do this yes i know you must be thinking that all of these numbers were taken into terms of factors and everything yes i've done that like that but if you want i have also made a separate video where things are not about factors okay where you just you can do the addition subtraction in your numerator and denominator to get the answer get the final answer so the link of that will be available somewhere on the top or at the end of the uh, or in the description please go ahead and check it out okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video